What could it possibly be? Oh, I thought it was the massive graphical downgrade that Mario Party Superstars has suddenly suffered. I mean, wow, look at that blockiness. Wario is strong, but he's also really, really stupid. Donkey Kong's also really strong and really stupid. And Luigi is just... Well, Luigi's just there. And yeah, apparently, was Wario trying to smell his armpits? That's not good. DK... Luigi, you really could move. No, don't, don't, you can buy Luigi plushies at the store, guys. Go and get your own. Or perhaps Mario would make the best superstar. He is, well, he's a qualified hero. Yoshi at least qualifies. Luigi, maybe not so much at this. Peach at this point was famous for getting kidnapped every five seconds. Well, actually, you discount, I'm discounting uh, Super Mario RPG there. Peach actually did have some good skills to her name, and always does. But yes, they are all arguing. Each one is claiming to be the superstar. And finally, Toad has had enough and gone to space. That's it. I'm going up to the ISS. I'm fed up with you guys. I'm hanging around and watching this blue marble from orbit. Does each of you really want to be a superstar? What happens if somebody... Then let's see what... Then let's see what... An oh, radio. I think it actually does. Yeah, that does make grammatical strength, does it? Don't no, Luigi doesn't think it takes only strength. In order to be a superstar, it takes courage. Well, that's Luigi out, sorry. And wisdom and power! It takes a Triforce to be a superstar. We're playing the wrong game! Kindness? Oh man, that's not part of the Triforce. Well, Yoshi is kind enough to get dumped into a pit so many times just so Mario can reach hidden exits. If all of you want to be a superstar, then I have an idea. Why not use the warp pipe in Mushroom Village and head out into adventure? Man, where's adventure? The person who comes out of the adventures on top is the superstar. Maybe adventure is what you reach after you take the right turn at Albuquerque. But, there's always a but, and Toad has showed us his butt. There's no telling what kind of danger might await you. Well, that's Luigi out again. Do you want to head out into adventure? No, I want to head out into money and booze. Wait, Luigi is actually the first one stepping forward. Credit to him. Wario is leering. Get out of the way. And off they go. Uh, guys, it's... Oh, never mind. I'll have to tell them it's the other way. But this pipe is featured in the intro to Mario Party Superstars, the pipe that leads to adventure. And our title screen. Red 2 standing by, all four lit and in the green. Welcome to Mario Party. We are seeing in the new year with Jank. Now there is a different title screen that shows when you have not played this before. I'll put it up on screen. So the reason there is the Luigi one is because I had I had to unlock a few things and I played as Luigi. So it will show each character's named board. DK is probably at home in the factory-like setting. But as you can see, Wario is getting hoisted and we're looping back to the start again. Jeez, even the... Con Jeez, even the boiler pressure machine looks a bit annoyed with Luigi. Let's get right into the journey. So the rules for this are going to be a bit different. We are going to be playing each board 35 turns, because I can. And the AI will be on hard. We'll see what happens with that. We choose our location. Now, before we do go, I'm going to demonstrate something at the bank. So this guy can withdraw or deposit items for you. Note that in this game, only human players provided their coins and stars to the total. So if there was an easy way to get a whole lot of coins and stars, just let the AI play and then switch them all to human player at the end of the turn. At the end of the last turn. This backfired on me when I did this because we had a team game. It was bobsled run. Do you want to know how hard it is moving those bobsleds on your own? It took me... Two minutes just to cross the starting line. Two minutes! It was still a bit janky getting down there, but seriously. So, this guy withdraws or deposits items. 
This guy tells us what's right in front of us. He needs to be fired. So, the items I have acquired are as follows. We have the standard coin box. I bought all the dice blocks. We have the warp block. It appears randomly, and players change positions on the board. That takes up your turn, unlike the warp block item of later games. This appears randomly at the end of a turn, and Boo Cooper Trooper or Bowser will appear. Plus block, you get the number of coins shown. Minus block, lose number of coins. Speed block, roll 8 through 10. Slow block, roll 1 through 3. You can unlock different types of coin boxes, but only one at a time. You can also get no Cooper and no Boo signs. The no Boo sign doesn't work on every board. Because Boo isn't in every board. So, let's leave the bank. We can buy stuff from the mushroom shop, which is just here. We can play Minigame Island there, which I'll have to do once I've bought them, I believe. The Minigame House lets us play minigames and buy minigames. And the Option House, we can change a few settings, delete our data, and when we get it, I think we get the Mecha Shy Guy we can rotate the control stick for. The Warp Pipe. Let's do... Okay, so let's... I haven't seen the tutorial. Let's hear the game rules. Just in case anyone doesn't know. I'm kind of curious. Hello everybody, you are all going to head out into adventure after this. Before departing, let me make the object of the game clear to you. Backstab, betray, manipulate. The object of the game is to become the superstar and lose the least friends doing so. To become the superstar, you must collect more stars than anybody else. Collecting stars and other rules will be explained after this in the board map. So let's go to the board map. I honestly haven't seen this. Start. Okay, this is interesting. Welcome to the board. This is the first map. First I'll explain how the game progresses. First we decide turn order. Hit the spinning dice block to make a number appear. Highest number goes first and the lowest number goes last. Press the A button to stop it. Wow, Yoshi gets a 1. There are various house rules depending on some games. There will be different ways of determining who goes first. In some games, youngest player goes first. There are whole lots of ridiculous criteria like Mario has rolled a 1. Whole lots of ridiculous cr criteria like you might have something bizarre in a house rule. Like, I don't know, say... I, th I think Cards Against Humanity has whoever, whoever pooped most recently goes uh, first. You might have... Something like Phil Collins Susudio is played on an infinite loop and the last person who kills themselves goes first. Or something to that effect. If you actually like Susudio, insert a song you really, really hate in there, okay? So Luigi's going broke. Peach gets a six, which is presumably a happening. That's a one-player minigame. You can get more coins in a minigame. But Peach doesn't get to play it. Ah happening space. So, yeah, there we go. So, some boards, I think Luigi's Engine Room actually did have happening spaces that did different things depending on where you were, but for the most part, the majority of happening spaces in this game all do the same thing. How long is this going to take, anyway? Oh, they're going to show off chance time! So chance time spaces actually, it, you don't match up blocks, that's a bit of a lie. Chance time spaces appear on each star space, so there'll usually be five or six on the board at any given time. Unless there is a set star space, like there is in Peach's Birthday Cake, Yoshi's Tropical Island and Mario's Rainbow Castle, then there are two. Depending on how the blocks match up, you can steal coins or stars from other players. Luigi's going to go to Bowser, isn't he? Oh man, that's rough. Bowser space, when you land on this, Bowser appears. And Peach. Mushroom space. Now, it is interesting to note that in this game, 
dice rolls are predetermined at the start of a turn. That includes mushroom blocks and the shortcuts on the Bowser, on Bowser's Magma Mountain. Those are all predetermined. Whatever you get is down to pure chance. You can, if we're playing on the save states, we can only wind up getting that number. It won't change unless we reset the turn. Note that chance time is not rigged. Chance time can actually be controlled. Mini games. Radio player panel. Radio. Yep, that's a bit of an. Uh, there we go. A bit of an explanation and one versus three. Choosing a minigame, blah, they're really going through everything, are they? Please don't tell me they're going to do a demonstration. Oh boy. Alright, the characters on the board map. There are several characters on the board maps. When you pass these characters, you can talk to them. By paying the- Give us money! I, Toad, have many stars. And I will trade you a star for 20 coins. Because if I trade it for any less, we'll break the economy. This is Boo! He's a thief! He was doing 25 to life. That's why he's a ghost. He died in jail. To steal a star, it will cost you 50 coins. Note that because you can steal coins for free, you get random amounts. Koopa Trooper is your guide in the board maps. When you meet him, he'll give you a 10 coin present. Now, there was something really neat. If you pass him 10 times, he'll give you 20 coins. If you actually pass him 30 times, you get 40 coins. And this is Bowser. He's an asshole. He sells you bogus crap that doesn't do anything and takes your coins. So, minigame star, coin star, and happening star. There we are. Final results. Winner is decided by coins, and if you tie on stars and coins, you roll a dice block. Now, newer games have tended... To make, uh, make it so that if you do tie, both players win. Which is stupid. Because Mario Party should not be friendly. You should be hating each other afterwards. You should be looking at each other with malice and fury in your eyes. Plotting to murder each other as you sleep. All because that one guy decided to steal your star ten turns back. And you haven't forgiven him. And you will never forgive him. Let's get going. So, please answer a few questions. Are you a boy or a girl? The immortal Pokemon Professor question. It's nice to see that they've actually changed it to what do you look like. That's fair enough. You should be allowed to style your character how you'd like that makes you most comfortable being represented. But for heaven's sake, can we actually be an older trainer for once? I swear that Game Freak's uh, nod to that, the fact they keep making the protagonist a kid, they have acknowledged the older fans in Larry. Boy, do I empathize with him. So, it is just going to be me. So, the... I am going to be playing as Mario this time. We'll be giving... We'll be competing to see who's got the best scores at the end of four boards. So, I'm also going to add in two, three, and four, and we'll rotate through everything. We'll rotate so that we're playing... I'm playing each board with the Titular character as my player character. So, everybody gets one board. Right. Mario's Rainbow Castle. Use your star power to create a beautiful rainbow. Is this all right? Yes. Number of turns, we're going for 35, which is considered standard play, but almost everyone plays 20 turns. Are these settings okay? Hmm, what happens if we do select return to start? Oh, there's nothing interesting. 
because in the Mario Party 2, if you finish it off, if you finish things off at just right at the last, then the AI will, then the pipe will tip up and you'll wind up just falling back down. So, let's get going on the very first board. Let's start out a brand new year with Jank. Quick overview. And here we are, very much inspired by Tower of the Wing Cap and Super Mario 64 or so, I believe. Welcome everybody, I am your guide, Koopa Trooper. The castle you see from here was once a beautiful castle called Rainbow Castle. It sounds like it's borrowed from Bomberman 64. But the rainbow disappeared and even... Th okay, how has the name Rainbow Castle been forgotten if you just said it? Unless you're like some sort of really scholarly Koopa Trooper or something like that. With your own hands, you must reveal the shining Rainbow Castle once more. I have one piece of advice. In the castle, Toad may change places with Bowser. Now then, let's decide turn order. Two! At least I'm not going last, but still. Alright, Peach has a reputation for being a notorious cheat, but for me and my brother, Luigi has always been a pain in the ass. So we're going to see what happens. Alright, you hope they'll be of some use. Probably not, depending on the AI. Or my luck. I'm expecting to lose quite a few of these. Let me show you where to find the first star. It's always in the same spot. This is the star spot. Get a star by giving Toad 20 coins. It's gorgeous music. Let's change the save settings so that we are saving after every turn. Make the message speed fast. Let's go. The music is fantastic. Let's listen. Pretty beautiful, but we already see that Toad has switched places with Bowser thanks to Luigi. It's a one versus three. Pipe Maze. Oh, this sucks. Pipe Maze is allegedly a one versus three, but it's a very, very fast version of the Ghost Leg Lottery. So you'll see that there are certain pathways for the pipes. Depending on where you drop it in, you can wind up giving the coins to someone completely different. You have to guess. But the problem is you can't plan. You can't actually plan it because it moves so fast. Radio, so I can't move the uh, I can't move the treasure chest because I'm not the one controlling it. I'll show you that a bit later. So you see it just scrolls up very quickly and you've got to guess. The AI is probably going to be pretty good at this. So it's going over to Luigi now. Oh no, it's gone to Luigi. So it really is random chance and you actually have to try and win this by get, actually getting the treasure chest in Minigame Island. So Luigi flukes his way into the lead thanks to Peach. Yoshi has eaten something bad. So it's a race to not speed block. Good, he can go to Bowser first. All right, what's Peach gonna get? Slow block! <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, that that's a kick in the nuts. Warp block! And it's Yoshi. <laughs> it's Luigi. So, my turn is taken up, but I get the effect of the space. So, I basically rolled really well. That that was a shambles of a turn. Ah, Crazy Cutter. You may insert Crazy Taxi references here. 
So, Crazy Cutter. Cut the fossilized characters free, use the control stick to move and cut along the, the line. The point is to cut as cleanly as you possibly can, you'll get the most points by staying right in the line. I believe if you get 80 points, you get coins. Regardless. Oh, Goomba, I'm... Uh, this could be tough. Oh, man. That's not going to look good for me. Oh, I think my grip is slipping just a little bit. I have not done well here. I, Luigi's done very well. I'm not expecting... 69! Okay! I did badly, but I got funny internet number. I win, I win on principle. That was actually a really, really bad performance. Miss. I'm singled out as missing. Mario is missing! Oh, God! So, I'm now in last. But, if you run into Bowser... You will wind up buying a star. But you won't lose a star, you'll just lose 40 coins. Just, I say. So I basically rolled a 10 with that warp block last turn. Right, what is the strategic plan? I think I have... Because of playing Octopath Traveler, I have definitely picked up a habit. I'm going this way. I've definitely picked up a habit of saying what is the logical course of action when I'm thinking things over a la Cyrus. I try and make my plans as logical as possible, but I always skip a step. There's always something that winds up going... It, you know the internet meme that's like step one something, step two something, step three question mark, step four profit? Sometimes it's like that. But sometimes it's also a case of I'm thinking so hard about what I'm going to do next that I can just muck up a step because I wind up doing something completely different. Anyway, we need to salvage chests from the bottom of the sea. Swim down, grab the chest, and slowly surface. Avoid the shark, and up we go. Oh, I got hurt. Let's make it to the big chest. Look, there are very... The shark is 3D, but the bloopers are very, very 2D. The bloopers, as you will see in some minigames, I can stay down here for a while. I'm not going to suffocate. Well, that's a good result. These, these guys are on hard AI, aren't they? No! Give it. It's mine. I will drown you if I have to, Luigi! Ugh. Yoshi appears to be slowly sinking towards the bottom of the ocean. How many coins did I get out of that? Fifteen! Yeah! How many turns am I into this? I think this is... Yeah, this is turn four. Yeah, so, where's Luigi going? He's going this way. He's narrowly avoided chance time. So, Boo is along the path I chose. Peach has got another red space. Bad luck for her! Now, it's a little unfortunate that this board isn't always that great. It's a bit basic. It's very... It's... Great! Chance time! Okay, now if I'm careful, I can get the... I don't want to give coins... Right, now, chance time is easy to rig if you pay attention. Twenty coins... Peach, I want to jump on... I don't want to phrase it like that. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it, that was a prophecy. I screwed up that last jump. I screwed up the jump, the timing on the jump. I probably needed to jump when Luigi's face was on screen. Because, apart from that screw-up, you can really, really rig chance time. If you're clever enough and you get the timing right... Alright, we do actually get to see one-player minigames when the AI plays them. Ground Pound, is this the one I'm thinking of? Yes. So, the hard AI apparently always gets one right, one wrong, one right, one wrong. Apparently. 
you do at least get to see which ones are right, which means there's no excuse and they're just time wasting. So one right, one wrong, one right. You don't know why they're doing this. There is absolutely no valid reason for them to start wasting everybody's time like this. It... It doesn't... See, Yoshi finished that very, very easily. It's stupid. You get 10 coins for winning a one-player minigame, unless it's a coin-gathering one. You will wind up... Or you will wind up losing 5 coins if you fail one, and I'm not demonstrating that. All right, I have, I have to work with the traders who stole my coins. Oh, it's Bash and Cash, which genuinely sucks. So, this is one of the most unfair mini-games. Hit the player in the Bowser suit with your hammer. The person in the Bowser suit must run away until the time is up. Now, this can appear as a Bowser mini-game. The person who landed on the Bowser space has to avoid getting hit. But, it's best to lose five coins which don't get to be picked up by anyone else, whereas they do in this, and then try not to get hit. Because if you succeed and don't get hit, Bowser will steal 20 coins or whatever because he's an asshole. So, the ridiculous sight of Peach, slightly less ridiculous. It's A to swing the hammer. I am just going to profiteer off their work, because that's kind of what Mario does. Peach only has three coins, so single coins will wind up being spat out... ...once they get below five coins. So, I've, I've profited handsomely. Peach has absolutely nothing. I got 11 out of that, sweet. And if a coin is lost but not picked up, it disappears into thin air. So you can see we took 21 coins, but she lost 22. That game is crap. Ah, here's Boo. Yeah, steal from Yoshi. So you can actually get negative coins won in the, uh, in the minigame star. It's Bowser. Let's see what happens here. Bowser's theme isn't bad, but there are other Bowser themes I like. Come on, is it? Ah, oh, it's Bowser's facelift. I wanted communism. I'm always going to root for Bowser communism. So, we have to get 90 points or more, or we lose 10 coins. We can actually contr slightly control our character or hand on the screen in, in these games. Like you could in Mario Party 2, which was pretty neat. So, how does Bowser want to look? Whoa, man, that's some really gnarly facelifting. Okay. There's just not quite no Damn it. The finesse... There's not quite enough finesse. Or maybe there's too much finesse compared to the N64 controller? This slim. There. That should do. Finish. Hey, what? Excuse me. I have some questions, Bowser. I have some serious questions. That was bang on. Alright, so Bowser's determined to cheat me out of my money. So this, this fork, whichever way you go, if you have five spaces left, you're going to land on a happening space. I have serious questions. I, again? The worst part is, like I said, the dice rolls are predetermined, so the game just decided to kick me in the nuts that turn. Coin Shower Flower may as well have been a one-person game. 
Because the person on top of the flower, so the coins fall down in a shower on the flower. Everybody collect as many coins as you get. This is basically capitalism. The people at the top get all the money, basically exploiting the position of privilege to get a major advantage while everybody else at the bottom has to struggle for the remnants of the trickle-down economy. So, it's very, very hard for everyone down here to actually get meaningful coins, unless the AI is really dumb. Like, Luigi has let one coin get away from him. This is... This is a complete sham, really. Finish. So, like, uh, that is so, so stacked towards the one player, it's not funny. Like, look at that to those totals. I got four coins, Luigi got 31. That is so seriously rigged, it's not funny. Also, I want to point something out. I want to be pedantic here and remark that it shouldn't be game data is saved, it's game data are saved. Because actually, data is the plural and datum is singular. Bowser, oh no, watch me lose more coins. I'm going to be broke by the end of this. Alright, so the Bowser chance time, people give coins. Yoshi! 30 coins, okay, I'm happy with that, I will take that. Most of those were the coins I accidentally gave to him. Jerk. So, can I roll higher than a 1 this time? That's a good result. Right, I'm gonna mug my brother, or... Alternatively, to bring, uh, to bring up a classic gag, I want to steal from C-Map. C-Map's a jerk. So, we are going to steal coins from Luigi. 87, considered the devil's number in Australian cricket because... Jeez, that's a pretty pathetic r result. So, it's, con it's, jokingly con it's somewhat jokingly considered the devil's number because it's 87 to go... Because you're 13 away from 100. Interestingly, more Australian batsmen have been dismissed on 99, most famously the late, great Shane Warne holing out, which is slang for getting caught, on what was ultimately ruled to be a no-ball a no on uh, later analysis on 99. So, what is it? Oh, tightrope treachery. So, this reappears as Rainbow Run in Mario Party 2. The person on the tightrope must walk to the goal line. Players in boats can shoot their cannons with A. You can lose your balance not only from cannonballs, but also from strong winds. So if you're hit with a cannonball, you'll fall over and lose time. You don't necessarily fall off immediately. Unless, of course, the wind combos you. That, every other time I've played that, I've been hit and I haven't fallen off. Obviously, it's a bit different when the AI's on hard. Luigi, he's got Bowser, good. So, Bowser just takes 20 coins. Yep, that stuff can happen in a hidden block. No stars here. He deserved every bit of that. So, Peach got a 10, but she's switching things over. Whoa. You don't have what it takes for a star. You get to leer at Bowser. And you just fall off and get saved by a lack or two. But, she gets 10 coins. Yeah. So... Peach is going to land on a mushroom and gets to roll again. And only gets a two. Still, not a bad result. 
Alright, what do we got? Well, I'm getting there. I definitely... I think this is the last... This is the last turn of the first video. So let's see what I get. Keep away! Now I'm tempted to just screw them over, but I need the money. So, open the door without letting the Spike Coopers get the key. If they do, the game ends. Press B to pass the key. A is jump, B is throw key. It gets easier to pass to your teammates as Spike Coopers approach. Rightio, so Luigi's got the key. I'm going to try and run interference. Right, they'll close in. Running interference. Running interference, nice teamwork. Good pass by Luigi. And we unlock the treasure vault with riches beyond our wildest dreams and we each only get 10 coins. We're obviously not that greedy. 